This is no playground. It's not a walking path or a recreation trail. It's a place where hundreds of tons of fast-moving steel can maim or kill in a split second. Serge Melosh has seen too much of this. The chief of police for CN says trespassing incidents on railway property are increasing, often with deadly results. Two years ago, we had 92 accidents involving trespassers on railway property across Canada. Last year, the number rose to 100. Over 90% of these accidents will result either in serious injuries or fatality. CN police have seen people take some extraordinary chances, like the young father with a toddler cutting a hole in a fence and using the railway as a shortcut. And officers on patrol often come across children and teenagers playing on or around freight cars. Or the middle-aged adult, not the kind of person generally seen as a risk taker, ignoring the danger and crossing a busy rail corridor. For those people, the chief has a strong message of zero tolerance. Those found trespassing on railway property could be fined. Railway property is dangerous. Most people play it safe and use designated areas to cross the tracks safely but we will no longer tolerate those who trespass. Some people may think they can beat an oncoming train, but the locomotive that seems far away down the tracks will be upon them within seconds. Trains cannot stop quickly and cannot swerve to avoid people on the tracks, and railway cars that seem to be sitting quietly can suddenly start to move without warning. Trains can come from either direction, on any track, at any time. Trespassers are putting their lives on our line. The zero tolerance policy takes effect immediately on all CN railway property. Martin Vanderwood reporting.